Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today we look at only ASUS motherboards for AM5. Yes, all of the X670E motherboards for the 7000 series of AMD CPUs. And I got special permission to include pictures, okay? So we have pictures of all the motherboards. I've done a video here where I've combined all the information um, and there's new information in this video. So even if you watched all of them, there's, there is some new information. So sit right back, have a cup of coffee and we'll get into it. With all of these new X670E ASUS motherboards, they all have at least one M.2 that's Gen 5, the new Gen 5, super speed, and they have at least one PCIe Time 16 slot that is Gen 5 as well. We start off today with the ASUS AM5 Prime X670E Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. It's got one M.2 that is a Gen 5, two Gen 4, and one Gen 3. So you have a total of four. So that's great. Um, you also have um, quite a few uh, USB options um, with a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2, five USB 3.2 Gen 2, seven USB 3.2 Gen 1, and six of the USB 2.0 Wi-Fi 6E. And you've got 2.5 gigabit LAN. It also includes a PCIe slot Q release. So a button you just push down, you know, make sure your graphics card is unscrewed um, from the back of the computer and uh, push that button and it pops out or you can easily remove it, let's say, okay? Next we have the ASUS ProArt X670E Creator Wi-Fi. So this is a very nice board if you want a lot of connectivity, a lot of USB ports and fast connections. Um, the Pro, the fastest the USB goes is 20 gigabits per second. And on uh, this board, it's got two of the USB 4. 40 gig gigabits per second, okay? It also has a um, supplemental six pin um, power connector, which is next to the 25 pin. And this provides uh, extra power to the USB-C um, there on the side of the motherboard. And it can do some charging up to 60 watts, as long as you've got that uh, plugged in your power supply plugged into that six pin um, and if you don't it's only 27 watts of power coming from there is my understanding okay with the pro art you get two of the very fast gen 5 m.2 connections and two of the gen 4 so that's excellent now as I discussed, you get two of the USB 4, and that is 40 gigabits per second. You get two of the 3.2 Gen 2x2, and seven of the USB 3.2 Gen 2. And you get two of the USB 3.2 Gen 1, and seven USB 2. You get Wi-Fi 6E and you get both the 2.5 gigabit LAN connection and the 10 gigabit. Um, so if you are uh, in an office and you've got a whole bunch of PCs that you want to connect to, um, you get very fast uh, connections between all the computers. Next, we look at the ROG Crosshair X670E Hero. Yes. So this is a brand new board that hasn't been, re won't be released until the 27th of September. 
Um, so, yes, so there's um, several different Asus Hero boards out there for different platforms. Um, and this is a brand new one, so it's all good. We've got four DDR5 slot. With the X670E Hero, you get three of the high-speed Gen 5 M.2 connectors. You get two of the Gen 4. Um, you get also two of the USB 3.2 Gen 2x2. Two two. Um, so, as you can see from the I.O., there are lots of USB ports there. Um, you get 2.5 gigabit LAN as well. Now, on the Hero, there is four, like I said, M.2 connectors. Now, you can have a look at where they are. So, the covers are on, on that small image on the bottom left. And once those covers are removed, that's what it looks like. Um, so you've got some thermal pads there that are removing heat on one side, and then you've got heat sinks that you screw onto them, um, on top of them. So you get heat removal from both sides of the M.2s. Also, you get a USB-C on the side of the board there that has 60 watt charging. So if you um, plug in supplemental power into that six pin, um, that will give you 60 watts of charging. It's also steel reinforced there, as you can see. Okay, and um, if you don't connect the power to the six pin, you'll only get around 27 watts coming out, okay? And this picture also shows a button there, the PCIe slot Q release. So it's a quick release button. So once you have your um, graphics card unscrewed from the back of the computer, um, then you push, can push that button and it'll re release it um, very easily. Now with the ASUS ROG Crosshair 8670E Hero and Extreme, um, they have a very high quality VRM design. And here are the features and benefits of that. So they, both the Hero and the Extreme motherboards have 110 amp power stages. Okay. Um, they also have ProCool 2 power connectors, um, which ensure a snug and reliable connection to the ATX and server grade EPS 12 volt power lines. There are microfine alloy chokes. Each power stage is accompanied by a high permeability alloy core choke rated to handle 45 amps. And instead of 5K capacitors, uh, they include 10K premium capacitors. Um, some of that text is cut off, so I apologize for that. But you can use extreme temperatures. So over here on the bottom right, in case you can't um, see that over in here, uh, the Extreme's got 20 plus two of the team power stages and the Hero has 18 plus two. Now with many of the Asus motherboards, there is Q design features that are included. So you've got the Q latch up on the top left for the M.2, so you don't need a screwdriver to um, attach the M.2, the NVMe drive itself. Um, and uh, so it just, you just turn it with your finger, it's quite easy. And then you've got that Q release button for the GPU, which I told you about. Now there's also a G uh, code um, display where you can actually have it display temperatures. Um, and you have a bit of, um, options as to what you want actually displayed there. So as you boot up, it'll give you some error codes there. If there's a problem, there's also error, error LEDs. Um, and then once everything's going, you, you know, you can have that um, display temps or whatever. So um, you also get um, Q connector on the bottom left, and that has to do with 
uh, plugging in your um, chassis uh, features, your, your power on and reset and that kind of thing. Um, and while I'm thinking about it, if you add that six pin power connector to get the uh, 60 watt charging, you have to make sure that it is supported by your chassis, that if you connect it through to there, up into the, the I.O. of your PC case, you got to make sure that it's okay, um, that, that it can handle the 60 watt power. All right. Now, we've got QDIM, so easily um, installable and removable um, RAM. QDIM allows you to flip only one DIM lock on the outer section of the motherboard for easier access when swapping out memory. With the ROG Crosshair X670E Extreme, um, you actually have two of these charging uh, USB-C ports. Uh, one on the side in the middle and then one on the bottom. So. Um, you get two, and that's only on the extreme where you get two of those. It's got 20 plus two power stages, DDR5, and five M.2 slots. It has USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 on the front panel connector, and dual e USB 4. Also PCIe Express 5 and onboard Wi-Fi 6E. And those are just a few of the specs. There is also 10 gigabit ethernet and 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So it's got two ports. For the Strix X670EI-I gaming Wi-Fi motherboard for the new AM5 socket and 7000 series of AMD CPUs. The power stage. The VRM is a 10 plus 210 amp teamed power stage design. So when they say teamed, it's basically um, the, all the VRMs are, are working together at the same time. Okay. And it even has an active assist fan because there is some trouble with heat. Um, these very fast electronics um, can generate a little bit of heat. Um, so ASRock has been spending a bit of time um, working on their ITX motherboard to find ways to get rid of the heat. And in fact, the ITX motherboards, it takes longer to design one of those. Um, it's a, a, putting it in such a small form factor um, complicates and, and, and like doubles the time of design. Okay, so it's got two DDR5 DIMM slots. It has a, a Gen 5 M.2. It has two USB C 40 gigabit, which is also um, capable to attach to display ports. So the USB C can then be connected to a monitor on using the display port connector. Yeah, so I guess once one side you have USB C and the other side is your display port. Okay. Six of the USB-A 10 gigabit, two, uh, two other USB-A's, unknown speed, um, so those might be um, five gigabit. It's got an HDMI port, uh, one four-pin ARGB header, one three-pin ARGB header. It's got a front USB 3.2 header, a front USB-C header that it may be it may be the 60 watt one, but I'm not I'm not sure. We have to wait on those specs when they um, are further clarified. So there is a header for USB-C on the front. 2.5 gigabit LAN Wi-Fi 6E Bluetooth 3.2. Okay, so there is an add-in board. Okay, this little piece you can attach 
near where the power connectors are, okay, on the right side of the board. And you get off that AR, one extra ARGB header and two USB 2 headers. And what you may want to do is you may want to order the bundle, okay? The bundle is going to come with the ROG Hive, okay? Um, and I believe it'll come in with that add-in board as well, um, but we have to confirm that. So the Hive is this device, okay? About so big, all right? So it's about the size of a small football, maybe. And it's got a knob in the middle of it on top where you can adjust the volume, okay? You can push it to mute it as well. Now, all of the audio ports are gonna come out from this device, okay? Which gets attached to the ITX motherboard. Um, and it's got other, other connectors on it. It's got USB flashback. USB-C port, it's got a flex key button on it, okay? And that's a programmable button. So for instance, you could um, program it to um, do safe boot. So if you're having some issues because you're overclocking and you just wanna go into a safe boot mode, you can have that be your button. You can push that and then it'll boot into safe mode. It has four error LEDs on it. So if you need to troubleshoot, those LEDs will be helpful. So those are the some of the features on it. Okay, and that is all I have for uh, the ITX board. All right. Okay, next we're gonna go to the micro ATX. So this is the Gene, the X670E Gene Micro ATX motherboard from ASUS. Okay, it's a crosshair gene. And this has 16 plus 2, 110 amp power stages. It has FP10K capacitors. So, um, very uh, good capacitors. Um, two DDR5 slots. All right, it's got the integrated IO shield, which um, the uh, ITX has as well. And it has 10 USB ports on the I.O. Yes, it's got three of the USB-C um, type and two of those are 40 gigabit and they are DisplayPort capable. So you can use that USB-C, uh, plug into your uh, I.O. on the motherboard and then connect on the other end of your cable, you'll have a display port, plug that into your monitor. Okay. So that would be if um, you weren't using a graphics card, basically. All right, so I've got two of those 40 gigabit ports and one 10 gigabit. Um, it has five USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, uh, 10 gigabit, I believe to a USB 2 ports and even one PS2 port if you've got a really old keyboard or mouse that you want to plug in. Um, all right, it also has a front USB-C port that can put out up to 60 watts and it has Quick Charge 4 Plus support. You've got one Gen 5 M.2, and you've got an add-in card, okay, where you can put one Gen 5 and one Gen 4, okay. So that's a total of three M.2 um, connectors with that add-in card combined, okay. All right, for SATAs. Okay, and it's got one Gen 5, PCIe Express times 16 and one open PCIe Express times one. 2.5 gigabit LAN, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 3.2, optical sound output with L ALC 4080. It has a GPU quick release button, 
two ARGB headers, and a programmable flex key button. So like I said before on that ITX Hive, um, you can push a button and, and for instance have it go into um, boot into safe mode, but you basically program that button. Check your manual for instructions. Okay, so that's the first micro ATX. That's all good, all good. Okay, we are going to move on to the ASUS ROG Strix X670E-E gaming Wi-Fi. It's got 18 plus two, 110 amp, Teamed power stages. It's got four DDR5 DIMM slots, one Gen 5 PCIe X16, one Gen 4 PCIe X16, one Gen 5 M.2, two Gen 4 M.2s, and one Gen 3 M.2. So a total of four there. It's got four SATAs, integrated I.O. shield with 13 USB ports. Oh, wow. Okay, unfortunately, none of the 40 gigabit type. Um, we've got one USB C 3.2 Gen 2 times 2, or 2 by 2, which is a 20 gigabit uh, connection. We've got two of the USB C's that is a 10 gigabit connection. Yep, and 10 of the USB A. Um, and that is a 10 gigabit. We've got 2.5 gigabit LAN, Wi-Fi 6E BIOS flashback, clear CMOS button, HDMI display port, and the op optical SPDF. We've got one front USB-C header. That's the only information I have on that one. Um, one reinforced front USB-A, USB-3 header. Okay, so it's got like a metal bracket around it to reinforce it, uh, which is a good idea, because with the cable bending and everything, putting stress there. You got three ARGB headers, one four pin RGB header, quick release GPU button. That's all I have on that one. That was uh, the Asus Republic of Gamers Strix X670. E dash E gaming Wi Fi. All right, next is the tough. Okay, so I don't have the pro specs yet, but um, let you know when I do. So probably go pro and then tough, okay, as um, the costs go up, okay. Um, so we've got a 14 plus 2, 70 amp power state design okay so that's the tough gaming x670 e dash plus Wi-Fi it's got an integrated IO shield with 10 USB ports two USB C's with 20 gigabit three USB a with 10 gigabit five USB a with five gigabit it's got 2.5 gigabit LAN Wi-Fi 6e BIOS flashback 7.1 channel audio. It's got four DDR5 DIMM slots. It's got one Gen 5 PCIe times 16. It's got one Gen 5 M.2, two Gen 4 M.2s, one Gen 3 M.2 connectors, and four SATAs, three ARGB headers, one four pin RGB header, six USB two headers, one W pump header, which is if you've got like a cooling water reservoir um, that you want to, you know, custom loop and pump it through, it's got a header just for that. It also has an AIO pump header, yeah. USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 front header. Well, if you'd like to see more videos on motherboards and on AM5 and a wide range of technology subjects, all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get notified when those videos are ready. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary and don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.
हूँ 